So I just got myself a bike. And I thought to myself, the more I bike, the more fit or the more healthy I would become. But little did I know, it was actually easier and not as complicated as I thought. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can bike to a healthier heart. Come in, right up. Hey y'all, Amen here, and you're watching Heart Limits. So I'm here on the road, and I'm biking! <laughs> well, it's not technically a road, it's, it's an old train track which was converted into a road. Do you imagine that? It's pretty cool, right? So going back on topic. <laughs> People get into biking for a couple of reasons. And sometimes, it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's not. No, no, that's not the point. The reasons are mainly because first it's either for pleasure. So, you know, they just like biking. They like the sport. They grew up uh, with biking and they just learned to love it. For some, it's more as a way to fit in. You know, some people feel bad like, oh my God, everyone can bike, but I can't bike. So I think I should learn how to bike. And I think I should join my friends because they're all going on a biking trip. For some, it's a pretty good reason. It's more for help. And yeah. <laughs> and for some, it's for performance. So it's a way for them to reach beyond their human capacity in some way. Now biking, or as some would call it cycling, has a number of benefits, or some would say advantages. First of all, it's for all fitness types. No matter your age, your build, there is most probably a bike that would be perfect for you. You know, with how technology is nowadays, there's been so much development that there are so many types of bikes that you might not have even known of. And me, I'm pretty surprised. You know, you have these road bikes, you have mountain bikes, you have X-Trail, Cross-Trail, you even have these tandem bikes, you have electric bikes, and the list just goes on and on and on. So whatever your fitness type, there should technically be a bike that can fit your needs. Number two, biking is a low impact sport, meaning that it's pretty gentle on your joints. Number three, biking is also, you could say, a fun way to get fit. And the beauty is, it's not only fit physically that I mean, it's also mentally because whenever you bike it's actually a good way for you to lower down your stress levels number four biking is great because it also kind of helps you save some time you know sometimes when it's the rush hour there's just so much traffic how do you go about you know with a bike you can just cut through all that and also biking also lets you save some money you know, you don't need to pay for your parking spaces, your gasoline, you don't need to pay for your bus, tram, or whatever it may be. And the maintenance of a bike is usually isn't that expensive, so that's pretty, pretty a good advantage. And lastly, biking is planet friendly. You know, people say that it has zero carbon emission. Well, of course, you know, there's no power that's really being used other than a human being pedaling, so... Duh. <laughs> so I saw something quite interesting. Let's climb that thing. <laughs> That's gonna be quite hard with this. Oh my god, I'm slipping. This is like the worst shoes maybe with this camera. I might break my camera. Let's try. Oh my shit. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wow. That was a bit sad. Let's try again. Shit. No. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, first step done. Let's go. Step two, three, four. Oh, all right. So, whoa, it's bright. It looks like some form of cave. 
Now biking improves heart health. It increases your heart protecting HDL cholesterol. It lowers the dangerous triglycerides. It also lowers the chances for having type 2 diabetes and it improves heart, lung, and circulation that as an overall helps you reduce your chances of having heart disease or making the heart disease worse. So I actually found an off-road trail. It looks pretty cool, kind of scary, but cool. <laughs> I wouldn't say my bike is the best bike in the world, but I guess I can try. <laughs> Now, heart health requires you to do a couple of things. You know, it can go with your diet, it can go with your lifestyle, it can go with your habits, and it can go also with how you do your workouts. But in this scenario, we're talking more about biking. So what is the perfect sweet spot number or the target? Now, in every scenario, be it if you're aiming for health or you are aiming for fitness, or you could say performance, there's always this point that you should hit. If you do too much or too little of the other, you are actually either wasting your time or just putting more strain on your body to the point that you won't actually get the benefits that you are striving for. So with heart health and biking, what's important is that you are able to bike at least about 20 miles per week meaning that's about 32 kilometers. To that end, you would be biking more or less 20 minutes per day, or you would be biking 40 minutes for three to four times a week. So if you hit that sweet spot, you would actually be benefiting more than going way, way beyond. And I have to say, originally I was like, All right, I need to bike for an hour or two hours per day so that I will improve my heart health. I will get better in almost every other aspect that I do. But in reality, if your goal is health, target health. Because once you start aiming for fitness, it's a different story. For you to adapt or to rather improve yourself as an athlete, you always have to put your body in some form of stress which is sometimes not good for people who might have some form of heart disease. And by doing so, you create some form of injury, and once it heals, there's always this form of development that happens. So, if you are biking for health, try your best to shoot within that 20 mile target per week. And if you're aiming for performance, well, that's a whole different story. So, once again, Amen here and you're watching Heart Limits. So remember, if you are aiming for heart health, stay within that sweet spot. If you're aiming for performance, aim for that sweet spot on the other end. Because after all, if you know what your purpose for biking is, why not take the best way to get there? So, see ya.